what's going on? You're tuned into the Daily Geek right here on SweetGeek.tv. I'm your host, Griffin Grandberg, and you know what? Today is December the 15th, 2008, episode 87 of the Daily Geek. And you know what? I promised you that we would do the announcement of the contest. Well, I cannot do that today. We're going to move that to tomorrow. Why? Because we're working on this contest giveaway with actually another huge company. So we kind of have to work out some details, but you know what? It is so awesome. You're going to want to tell a friend about us. It is that big. I'm telling you. I'm very excited about it. But you know what else is very exciting? It's a new week, which means more geek news. Hopefully not as slow as last week. Let's get to it with story number one. The Wii is killing it. And you know what? I ha They're killing it so much that I have to bring it out. That's right. The monster truck voice. The Wii is just killing it. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy voice, but you got to do it. I mean, because that's how awesome they're doing. November, they sold 2 million consoles, which put them in the number one most sold consoles in the non-December month category, which is huge. Now, they also broke the record for the second most sold game console in the non-December month, which is the Nintendo DS. So they are just killing it. That's right. And, uh... They actually, another real cool statistic is that they are now the number fifth must, most sold game console of all time, beating out the old number five, which is now the number six, the Nintendo 64. That's right, beating out one of their old consoles. Let's move on, though. Story number two. Thanks to Ballywake, they reminded me how crappy the commercials were for search engines back in the day. That's right, they linked up to an Alta Vista ad and an MSN ad, one featuring a really dorky guy going on a date with another guy with a guitar, that type of thing. And then, of course, Pamela Anderson for Alta Vista. You definitely want to check these out. That's why I'm including them on the interesting link section on our main site, SweetGeek.tv. Let's move on. Story number three. Microsoft is releasing the application for the iPhone. Lots of people thought that it wasn't going to happen. You know what? It's happened. Microsoft releasing an application for the iPhone called Sea Dragon, which deals with super high quality, high resolution imagery. Now you've heard of megapixels and you're like, yeah, I hear about megapixels all the time. Remember we were talking about that way with megahertz even back in the day, but megapixels. Now they're talking about gigapixels. That's right, images using gigapixels. You're gonna be able to view them right there on your iPhone. Definitely cool technology for Microsoft. That is why you can never count Microsoft out because their R&D department is just crazy, balls to the wall, awesome. And uh, you just can never count Microsoft out on anything. Let's move on. Story number four. The NFL getting an on-demand feature for online streaming in HD near quality with DVR type capability, pause, stop, rewind, fast forward, that type of thing. Uh, all online on your computer streaming, which is crazy, right? And for every single game, plus the Super Bowl, it's going to cost you, I think it's like around 20 bucks. I don't know exactly for sure, but it's not very much. And it's actually pretty cool if you're into the game and you just can't pull yourself away from the computer. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Story number five, big news that we did not talk about last week, which shame on me. But you know what? We're going to talk about it right now. Verizon Wireless in Altel getting the go-ahead. Of course, they got the go-ahead from the FCC uh, a few months ago. Now they got the approval from the FTC that they are not going to go after them for antitrust issues. So that means that they're going to be combining probably sometime in early 2009 or sooner. So you know why? This is a big marketing deal because now AT&T cannot say they are the biggest wireless carrier in the U.S. Oh, no, 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 my friends. Verizon Wireless taking that over with this acquisition of Altel. Very exciting. Story number six, last story of the day. Palm is announcing a new big, huge operating system codenamed Nova at the CES show in January, which is just crazy exciting because January is usually a big tech news type month. And I, of course, very excited about it. The code name is Nova. It's a new operating system for cell phones that's going to bridge the gap between BlackBerry and the iPhone. So it's very, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what they do. And once we know more, of course, I'm going to let you know about it right here on The Daily Geek. And there you go. There is the geek news for December the 15th, 2008, episode 87 of The Daily Geek. I'm your host, Griffin Grandberg. And you know what? Let's do a question of the day. Are you down with this on-demand streaming stuff? Would you watch video on-demand uh, online? 
not on your TV, but on your computer instead? Would you do that? I want to hear what you have to say, so leave a comment no matter what site you're on. I will comment back to every comment left. I'm about ready to do it for Friday's episode. And you know what? Big announcement tomorrow. Tell your friends. Tell your friends to be tuning in to The Daily Geek tomorrow. And there you have it. It'll be a fantastic Monday. I'm going to try to do the same. And let's do this again tomorrow with a big announcement. I'll see you then.